All right, let's go at it with another example. So what is different over here? I have focused up to right there, right? So now this will be a third order. I'm increasing the order of the equation by one and see whether this will be a significant deal breaker or not. Um, it will be longer, but I don't think it will be a significant deal breaker. We'll find out together. Uh, the process doesn't change, right? I have y is equal to x to the power of m. And I do myself dy dx is equal to m x to the m minus 1, right? And d square y dx square will be m m minus 1 x m minus 2. And I have now this time around one more dy cube dx cube will be m m minus 1 m minus 2 x m minus 3. Okay. Uh, before actually, I forgot I should have uh, discussed that. So you see x cube d cube x square d square x dy. So this is a Cauchy Euler equation, right? Well, alrighty then. Let's get the business. Let's just plug this here, plug that there, plug this here, and this there, and well, let's see what happens. Okay? Is it is it gonna be long? Yeah, it will be, but that's okay. M minus two, m minus one m x m minus 3 plus 5 let's not forget 5 x square m minus 1 m x m minus 2 plus 7 x m x m minus 1 plus 8 x m is equal to 0 so third minus third so this is gone second minus 2 gone minus 1 x x to the m so then i can take everything with the x to the m parentheses right so because that's the common multiplier for each so i'll get myself m minus 2 m minus 1 m plus 5 m minus 1 m plus 7 m plus 8 they go to 0 I will do the same thing that I did before and I'll say this is 0, the other one is not 0, x to the power of m. And then basically I get the business of multiplying things. Okay, let's do it. So m minus 2, I'm just going to uh, kind of make it easy for me, m squared minus m, right? Plus 5m squared minus 5m plus 7m plus 8 is equal to 0. So I did just one parenthesis, so I have to do one more. So that will be m cubed minus m square right minus 2m square plus 2m plus 5m square minus 5m plus 7m plus 8 is equal to 0 okay so let me do this m cube plus 2m square plus 4m plus 8 is equal to 0 okay so 8 stays the same so let's look at the m square terms you will see that i have this m square this this, do you see? 5 minus 3 is 2, right? How about m? 2m minus 5m, so it becomes minus 3, plus 4m, I get myself plus 4m, okay? 8 is just there, 8, this is there, this is there, okay? So, all right, what's next? You know, this is an example, what's next? Well, I have to find roots to this equation, right? Um, and I don't have a solution. I mean, there might be multiple that you've learned so far. All right from in your prerequisite courses uh, before this but the thing that we typically do when i go here is i try inspection right by inspection um i mentioned that in, when i was discussing the undetermined coefficients as well but with an inspection i typically go to plus one minus one minus one half two minus two you know so, so kind of like simple and i want to highlight that uh, you know you see these you know these are all multiples of two did you realize that so it kind of makes sense to try like if you try one you, you're not gonna get it right like one plus two is three plus four is seven plus eight yeah there's no negative sign if you try negative let's say um, you know minus one plus two is plus one minus four plus eight is not gonna be zero so that's not it so I, like I said, why don't we try, first of all, I'm not going to try plus 2. The reason is it's simply going to sum up and it's not going to be 0 on the right hand side. So I will simply call this, uh, you know, let's call this minus 8, right? Because it is, uh, you know, m cube. And then in minus 2, that will be plus 8, right? So, so far, so good. 
and then this will be minus 8 and I have a plus 8 do you see that so I'll get a 0 so by inspection I get myself m is equal, m is equal to minus 2 is a root okay um, and then what the process will detail is now I know that this uh, where is my question here m cubed plus 2m squared plus 4m plus 8 meet is equal to m plus 2 times um, I'm gonna get myself m square over here plus a m plus b right um, you can call uh, I did this in the previous segment as well I can call this a I can call this b I can call this c and you'll get three questions three I know so you can solve it but I just take a shortcut because I know that m cubed will be only obtained by multiplying this term and that term if this is not something else then you can see this is one so I just take a shortcut so I can have two unknowns over here so okay so let's do it then the right hand side will be m cube plus a m square plus b m plus 2 m square plus 2 a m plus 2 b so if I combine this as I said as you can get m cube so let's see what the m squares are it's gonna be a plus 2 is what I see plus m times b plus 2 a is what I see right let's cancel the terms so that I know uh, what what is going on over here this is for that I'm gonna have bm am and I get plus b plus 2b so you can see from here that b is equal to 4 right did you see that the last time and then you can either use this right you can see this I get myself a is equal to 0 or you can just to verify whether this makes sense I can put, uh, you know, uh, here is 0, right? This is supposed to be 4. I look here, it's 4. So get, good. I get myself a is 0, b is 4. So then if I write this, then the equation looks like this. m plus 2 times m squared plus 4, right? Because a m a is 0 is what I have. So then if I look at my roots, then, uh, you know, let's look at this way. So I will get myself minus 2. I already guessed that. Then this will be uh, 2i, and the last one will be minus 2i, right? Because looking in here, m squared is equal to minus 4. So I get your guys uh, so plus 2i and minus 2i. Okay? So if I write that, y is equal to c1, x to the minus 2, right? Plus c2. You can write that this way. I'll show you one more you know, step. Plus c3, x minus 2i. And if I uh, go ahead and rewrite this, you will see that you c1, x minus 2, that stays right there. Uh, you know, so you can kind of now this, this, this way, right? So this is alpha, which is 0. This is beta, right? So then you're going to get x to the power of alpha, which is 0. That is 1, right? x to the power of 0 is 1. Then I'll get myself c2, uh, cosine of beta ln x, which is uh, 2 ln x, plus c3 sine 2 ln x, right? So in this particular case, what I had is I had a combination of things. I had myself a uh, 2 imaginary root and I have a one real root okay and this is what I obtain as my final answer um, one thing is this you noticed uh, this the right hand side was zero so that what that means is this is yc complementary but then there is no yp because this is simply a homogeneous equation right so that kind of does it for this particular segment I'll catch up with you later take care